Welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to do an awesome sky replacement effect like this using DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to start off using this clip of Luna and me walking past the camera. So let's move the playhead to where I'm kind of in the middle of the frame there. And I'm going to go to the colour page. Make sure the node panel's open here. And the first thing we're going to do is tap this button up here to create a new node. Then we're going to go over to the colour picker icon, make sure we've got the qualifier selected. And then we're going to tap this colour picker to choose 3D qualifier. Once we're in there, we're going to choose the colour picker icon with the plus symbol next to it. And we're just going to select this whole sky like this. Make sure we've got everything selected. Just keep going around it like this until it's all white. Okay, that'll do. Now I'm going to drag these nodes over to the left here to make room for another one. Now here we have to make sure our effects panel's open. If it isn't open, just go up and tap it like this. And then we're going to search for the sky replace effect. So I'm just going to hit search here and I'm going to type in sky. And there it is. Now we're going to drag that into the node panel. I'm going to drag it after the other two. So that creates a new node for us there. Then we're going to connect blue to blue like this. Now, as you can see, that's keyed all the sky out. It's all gone black. So what we need to do with this node selected, go to the sky replacement effect and turn up the sky opacity. Now straight away you can see that's given us a new artificial sky. Now we can alter the colour here. Now we also have clouds, so let's turn up the cloud opacity. And there are lots of other things we can do with the clouds here. We can alter the scale, the shape, the tilt. We can make them look really natural or we can make them look really artificial. And we can affect the cloud detail too, which gives us more 3D detail in the clouds. So as you can see, there's lots of different stuff we can do to edit the sky here, the sky and the clouds. change the colour of the sky. We can alter the horizon as well, we can alter the horizon height. We can alter the horizon softness. So I'm bring that up to give it more of a fade. Okay, so at the moment that plays through like this. And that sky looks quite natural at the moment. Obviously there's no fun in that. And this is the bit where I remind you guys, if you're finding this video useful, to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our other videos. Okay, interruption over, back to the video. Thanks for that. Now, as I was saying, that sky looks quite natural, so let's make it look a bit more artificial. Let's change the horizon colour to this nice purple colour. Now we're talking. Let's change the horizon height to bring it up a bit more. Bring the softness up a little bit so we've got more of a blend. Now let's do something with the clouds. Let's bring that scale down so we've got more of them. Okay, it's looking quite sci-fi now. Now the other thing I notice is this cloud time. Now if you move this slider, the clouds actually move about in the sky. So I was thinking it might be cool if we could use keyframes to make the clouds move about. So let's go to the beginning of the clip and add a keyframe. Now let's go right to the end of the clip and 
and move that cloud time slider. Now you'll see DaVinci Resolve adds a keyframe for us naturally there. So let's see how that plays through. Okay, that's pretty cool. We've got a bit of movement in the cloud, but let's increase that movement to make it look better. So back to the end of the clip again, and let's bring that cloud time slider right up to the end. And as you can see, DaVinci replaces that keyframe for us. So the end result plays through like this. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.